In ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. Ha ha ha! Oh, Shadow, right up here. There you go. Excellent. Stay, Shadow. Good boy. Hello, children. It is I, Sir Praise a lot. Praise God. Oh, and children, today I am so excited. I have such good news for you. We're getting another special visitor. My dear cousin. Prince loves a lot from the faraway kingdom of Agape is going to drop by today. So we must welcome him in royal fashion. Here, let us raise our hands in the air and wave them from over here to over there. Over here, over there. Oh, I think I hear him coming no now. See you, cousin. <laughs> oh, it is good to see you too. Oh, and cousin, I love the beer. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, children, this is my dear cousin, my favorite cousin. Prince loves a lot. <laughs> Uh, well, hello, all you beautiful creatures. I just love, love, love your kingdom. And thank you so much for that lovely greeting. Now, cousin, I have to ask you, what are you doing in this lovely garden? Why, I was just about to do my morning Bible study. Oh, yes, the Bible. Well, I just love, love, love the Bible. I know you do, <laughs> and that's why I waited for you, so that you could have a chance to retrieve the Bible from yon window. You want me? Me to get the Bible? Oh, yes, of course. After all, the God's word is for everyone. <laughs> I, I just love it. Let me get the Bible out right now. <laughs> oh, the word of God is just lovely. Here you are, cousin of mine. Thank you, dear cousin. Oh. Oh, this report is about when Jesus and his disciples visited the home of Mary and Martha, two sisters who loved God. Ah, I see. And were they serving the king? Actually, they were both serving the king, but in different ways. Mary was sitting at the foot of Jesus, listening to everything he had to say. Ah, I see. Now, hold on, cousin. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong. It's, it is definitely a good thing to sit and be near Jesus. Oh, yes. But wasn't Martha busy working and uh, serving the guests and preparing dinner and running all over the house doing all the work? That is correct. And Martha was very upset about it. She went to the Lord and said to Jesus, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Oh, oh my, she sounds powerful upset. So what did Jesus say to poor, poor Martha? Jesus said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried about many things and upset about many things, yes. But only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her. Oh, yes, and it is definitely obvious that Jesus had powerful love for Mary. But where is the love for poor Martha while she was working so hard? She was working her little fingers down to the bone. And Jesus said the work was not good enough. Oh, where's the love for Martha? <laughs> oh, poor, oh. poor, poor Martha. <laughs> oh, now, you need a tissue, cousin. No, I got one right here. Oh, nasty. Now, now, cousin, Jesus never told Martha that her work wasn't good enough. No, there's nothing wrong with hard work. In fact, there are times when God desires that we work hard to build his kingdom. Ah, well, then why did Jesus tell Martha to stop working? Oh, he didn't. No, he, Jesus told her to stop worrying. And Martha was so worried about so many things. 
I think Jesus was simply telling Martha that spending time with him was more important than worrying about the dinner preparations. I see. Well, maybe. Maybe Martha was just nervous because she wanted everything to be just right for Jesus. And, oh, sweet gibbling giblets, cousin, I think I got it. What? Jesus wasn't telling Mary or Martha to stop being so busy. He was telling her to not worry about doing all the little things. But she should have been spending special time with him. Yes, because if we focus on Jesus, our worries will take care of themselves. Do you think Mary over here was worried? Oh, no, no, not at all. She was sitting at the feet of Jesus because she had powerful love, love, love for him and wanted to hear every single word he had to say. That's exactly right. And that is why Jesus said, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. Oh, tis true, tis true. All we really need is Jesus, and that what we must do is stay focused on him and get closer to him. Yes, when you keep your focus on Jesus, no matter what you're doing, you'll find that you get closer to him, and his word, the Bible, gets deep down in your heart. Ooh, and that's what I want too, dear cousin of mine. I want the word of God deep down oh, in yes. my heart too, because if I serve him with a heart that is full of love, love, love for God, Oh, 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 well, that's what we all want. In fact, let's all say it together, children. Serving the king is the noblest thing. Oh, Come on, cousin. Let's spend more time with Jesus. Oh, what a wise idea, dear cousin. Right Come this way. Violet. Very wise indeed. Oh, oh.